Hello viewers, this is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. Welcome back. In this video, I will quickly explain difference between cluster sampling, multi-stage sampling and multi-phase sampling. Let's understand this through an example. Example here is survey of engineering students about the role of family background in getting admission in engineering course. So here my population is students at all the engineering colleges in a city. Let's understand the difference through this example. In cluster sampling, my population is student at different engineering colleges in a city. So is my population. Let's assume there are 30 colleges in the city. So these 30 colleges will be my clusters. I will divide my whole population into clusters college wise. So there will be 30 clusters, 30 colleges. Now by using simple random sampling, I will select few colleges as my sampling unit. Let's say I have selected three colleges. These three colleges will be my sampling units. All the students of these three colleges will be my sample in case of cluster sampling. So that will be my sample. Let's say it is not feasible for me to collect data from all the students of these three colleges. Then in that case, I need to divide it further. I will select few students by using simple random sampling again. In that case, it will become multi-state sampling. But in reality, it is not that simple. In multi-state sampling, you need to divide clusters into sub-clusters and then sub-clusters. This process goes on till the time you achieve your desired sample size. Let's say in a multi-state sampling, we have same population students at different engineering college in a city. I will divide this population into four regions first. So whole uh, city is divided into four regions. These, these four regions will be my clusters. So I have four clusters. Among those four clusters, I will select one region, one cluster by using simple random sampling. So colleges of that one region which I have selected will be my clusters. Now here it is sub clusters now. These are clusters four region. One region is selected by using simple random sampling. Then colleges of that one region will be clusters, sub clusters. Again by using simple random sampling among the colleges of one region, three colleges, let's say three colleges are selected. These three colleges are sampling units now and then Again, few students are selected from these three colleges, not all the students. In cluster sampling, all the students are uh, used as sample, but in multi-state sampling, if it is not feasible, then few students are selected as sample. So here my sample is some selected students which are selected by using simple random sampling. Now in multi-phase sampling, uh, again, my population is same students at different engineering college in a city, but in multi-phase sampling basic information is collected from large sample, but then detailed information is collected from few as required. Let's say in this case, uh, I've uh, selected my uh, population is my engineering uh, students at engineering colleges. So basic information, their family background, their family income, their parents qualification, uh, their home environment, basic information I've collected from the large sample, but detailed information in which area I want to survey. The detailed information, maybe I want to survey whether uh, their parents are in the same uh, background or they are from different background, whether their parents are highly qualified or uh, they are not qualified much. So detailed information I will collect from the few students, few uh, sample, uh, sample uh, from selected sample. So that will be multi-phase sampling. Many times it is confused between multi-stage and multi-phase sampling, but there is clear difference in multi-stage sampling at every stage sampling is done, but in multi-phase sampling, sampling, uh, sampling is done at one stage only. My large population is my, uh, sorry, large sample is my, uh, uh, I've done my sampling from the large sample. I've done, collected my data from the large sample. From that sample itself, I've collected few more detailed information from few units, from few students. So that's all with multi-phase sampling. That's all with the video. Hope this helped. Please like, share this video if you find it helpful and do comment below. Your comments really motivates me to make more videos. Thank you.